Hey guys, today we're gonna be testing the Bisbee on the Cash 110 High Drive HD2. That's the HD2 drive right there by Pelican. There you go. There you go. Now this thing's stuck there. It's not gonna go anywhere. We're good. We're gonna control the boat with this. We got speed over here. I was expecting, like I was expecting this bit to start from the rear and like it's right here in front of me. All right, we're max. Oh, this is, this is nice. Something that has surprised me so far is how steady this rotor control is. Like it's, I have the motor going and the rotor is not, like it's not moving, it's not shaking. Pretty much it stays where you wanted it. Now, uh, the one thing with navigating and stuff like that is that you always have to have a hand on the rudder because the boat moves all over the place. That's why with that autopilot thing, man, that north thing, dude, that thing is just amazing. Like, like if you want top of the line fishing, get that thing. Uh, it's just, it's gonna change your fishing like for the better, 100,000%. What if I slow down? and try to like fish. This is where like having that dual setup where you have your handle and then you have your foot controllers on the shear water is so good because right now you could just be using your feet to steer and you're casting and doing stuff. Damn, sometimes things on the water they look creepy as heck. The fish tree is creepy. I'm just having a relaxing day on the water today. I lost a Cuda and like I, I, whatever it was, it was big, it just cut the line. Didn't even care, that was the only fish we've seen so far. But I, I just wanted to, to test the Bispy here. This area is very like closed in. So let's see, let's see maximum speed, let's see what we get to. 3.3 .3 right now, 3.4. Should be a fun, fun, uh, just, 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 I think it's just fun to do this, like, Having the Bispy the way that it's set up on this boat using the Mirage Drive adapter, it just plug in and played, could be connected to the battery, just one piece, it's like grab and go. It's, it's so easy to use, it's, it's awesome. I really like this setup a lot. Like, I mean, the, I haven't used the drive at all today. I'm going three miles, 3.5 miles an hour, and, and it's just fun. It's, it's what is it? N not fun, it's relaxing. Like today, remember, today I'm just relaxed. Speed 12 is 3.4, 3.5. There was a stretch of like on the way here that we hit briefly like 3.8, sometimes 3.7, but maximum top speed that you're gonna be looking at this boat on calm water with a Bispy in the front, it's up uh, 3.5 miles an hour. Normal weather conditions, like like account for like 3.2 miles an hour maximum speed, and you're gonna get about 75 minutes at that. Three and a half miles, four miles tops if you go maximum speed. Now if you See, we are on the last leg here of the battery. If you actually lower the speed down, and we're gonna do that now as soon as we turn, but let's turn. Let's turn now. See how it turns? I'm just using the boat rudder. Again, I didn't do anything to this boat. I didn't change anything. I just plug in the Bispy with the battery, ready to go. I got my remote here, kill switch attached to my PFD, boom. And, and just, again, it's so easy. I alias could do it. So easy. Okay, so you saw me turn pretty good. Now watch this battery, uh, saying that it is on the last leg. Don't worry about a spare because I know I was gonna be doing this test. So now let me just stop it and let me put uh, speed one, two, three. Speed three, you see it added one bar. Ooh, ooh, fish, I had a bite. This is half, oh, look at that, steam raid. Interesting, I wonder what bit my thing. See, it added more. Now, if I go to maximum, it's gonna bring that battery down in no time. Watch out. There you go, you did it, see? It lowered down to one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is six, it adds more range. I would say like if you go half speed uh, using the BSP, which is about two miles to two and a half miles an hour on this boat, 
you're gonna go for like four or five hours maybe longer maybe sometimes seven hours and that's a good wrench i mean that's what seven times two that's 14 miles that is a long fishing trip like that is you fishing with this boat has been non-stop from like 6 a.m till 1 p.m that's my normal fishing day anyways like seriously if you just want to have a day on the water relaxing like i am today you have the drive there just in case this thing works this thing works pretty good stuff hey guys if you want to support this channel and you want to get one of those bsp units for yourself there's a link down below it's like affiliate links it helps the channel of course and something else that i've been testing today is my fish finder with the bsp new battery right here this is p6 and we get 2.4 miles an hour a lot of you guys are interested in like how fast it goes just with like speed one this is speed one it does make a lot of sound the motor with speed one we're like a 1.4 miles an hour it may be too fast for some of you depending on the waters like if you want to go like 0.5 miles an hour because you're working a, a something whatever you're working for me i think i like my my sweet spot is two and a half to three and a half miles an hour that's where i get the fish trolling in salt water but this is good like one let's go speed two it didn't add that much speed two is 1.4 this is what i want to see two miles an hour so it's speed four two miles an hour so that's like speed one through three you get like from 1.3 miles an hour to like 1.5 miles an hour now if you get to speed four you're hitting two miles an hour it's pretty good stuff i think that's speed six i'm going on a straight line that's how the boat goes faster and it's 2.6 miles an hour and this is not bad like like if you think about it like if you think about your fishing and like even if you have a pedal drive system you're not cranking that thing on all the time you you're going slowly you, you're just fishing relaxing doing your thing you're probably going two miles an hour i mean you could crank it up to three to four to five even six miles an hour but you're not going to sustain that uh speed for a long time the motor once you've set it on it's gonna keep going at that current speed until it runs out of battery and that could be like a lot a lot of miles and hours now reverse speed one is like 0 0.5 0 0.6 1.4 to speed two this is the maximum reverse speed 1.5 miles an hour 1.6 hey it's not bad i mean it's not fast 1.7 but it will get you out of really tight spots you could also flip the drive in reverse and go in reverse like if you're using the drive but a lot of times you get into like so like really small areas that you're not able to turn the boat around you just need to go in reverse and this is good two miles an hour for reverse it's pretty good 